हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक एक्सप्लिसिट एनहांसमेंट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट वी विल डू मेनी टाइम्स पार्टिसिपेंट्स आर आस्किंग कैन वी प्रैक्टिस इन एक्सप्लिसिट एनहांसमेंट्स विदाउट टचिंग द एसएपी प्रोग्राम्स मींस वी डू नॉट वांट टू टच द एसएपी प्रोग्राम्स and we want to practice explicit enhancements answer is yes if you remember i also explained you that if you have your own program we how you can practice implicit enhancement if you remember at that time we have one program for the sum of two numbers we treated that program as sap program so we are not going for direct changes we enhanced that program at the last and we created implicit implementation same way in this program i will let you know or i will explain how you can practice explicit enhancements so if you remember whenever i am showing you the practical of implicit and explicit in the sap programs i am always un i always undo all those things because others should not hamper because of us so if you think you do not want to touch sap things and you want to practice implicit and explicit so you can take any of your program you can treat that program as a sap program and you can practice implicit and explicit previously we practiced implicit now we will practice explicit also especially in case of practicing explicit you will get a huge learning huge learning if you are practicing explicit in your own program you will get two to three extra things come to know suppose if i will go for the previous things which we did in explicit we went to mm01 and we implemented the we implemented the enhancement point and sections we implemented the enhancement point and sections sap provided those enhancement point and sections and we have written the logic at those point and sections if you want to practice explicit enhancement it means you require a point and section so that's why i am saying here it is a additional learning so in the interview you can also tell that you also know how uh, we can create a point and section so firstly we will create a point and section in this program and we will treat that program as sap program and we will implement those point and sections so you can learn explicit enhancement in this way also so i'll go to change mode first because firstly we will create a enhancement point what is enhancement point and section they are available at any line so can i create at 11 number line yes i will create at 11 line here it's a additional learning for you you will come to know how sap created the enhancement points so now you are creating in your own program so you can go to edit enhancement operation create option once you click on to create option you are getting a option of passing the name of enhancement suppose enhancement point suppose i am saying z enhancement point and i am giving some serial number if you remember in the previous video i told you for the enhancement point and section what is the container enhancement port so you can give some enhancement sport name also suppose i am saying z es underscore 78 i will select and i will go for okay i will save this as a local object 
now you can simply simply compare this statement is same which SAP is all uh, which SAP provided. So in this video, it's a additional learning for you. You come to know that how SAP provided the point and how SAP provided the spot. So this is an additional learning. So can we treat this program as a SAP program? Yes. Now we will treat this program as a SAP program. Now in this program, we have sum of two numbers. We have subtraction of two numbers. Now what customer is saying, I want multiplication of two numbers also. So can we implement this enhancement point? Yes, we can implement this enhancement point, but we need to treat this program as SAP program. So I cannot change. Can I go for enhance? Yes, I can go for enhance. Same, I will right click on the point and I will go for create implementation. I will click on to create button. I will give some implementation name. Suppose I will say Z implementation for multiplication of two numbers. And I will write multiplication of two numbers. I will go for OK. I will go save this as a local object. I will choose the implementation. Now, can I write a logic for multiplication of two numbers? Yes, I can write a logic for multiplication of two numbers. The multiplication of two numbers. I will check the syntax and activate. Now, whenever I will run the program, I will give the input. Now you can see we have the multiplication of two numbers. So without touching SAP program, you can practice explicit enhancement also. And especially, yes, whenever I'm taking batches, I will always go for this approach because it's an additional learning for you because you come to know how SAP is creating the point and how those points are the parts of the spot. Yes, in the projects, we all, all or we always has to implement these things in SAP programs. But if you want to practice, you can practice in your own programs also. Once you practice in your own program, you have an additional learning there how SAP created the point and spot also, you will also create in your own way. In the next video, in the same to same program, we will create an enhancement section and we will implement that enhancement section. So that's it in this video. Thank you.